So we're asked to find the definite integral from negative 1 to 2 of t squared plus 1 times e to the t. And this is going to be an integration by parts. So first thing we have to do is we have to choose our u and we have to choose our dv. Now, a lot of times when an e to the t is in there, well, that's going to be our dv because whether we take the derivative or antiderivative, it doesn't get any more difficult. In fact, it's itself. It's not a guarantee, but most of the time that's how that'll work out. And that leaves t squared plus 1 for our u. Then our v is automatic, it's e to the t. And our du is automatic, is the derivative of that, which is 2t dt. So now we put together our integration by parts, which is uv, so I'm going to write it as e to the t times t squared plus 1, so there's our uv, minus the integral of v du. So e to the t, 2t dt. Now one of the things I like to do is I like to pull my constants out, so I'm actually going to take this 2, and I'm going to write it out here, and we can just get rid of that. Now, we get another integral, and this will still be from negative 1 to 2. I'm going to do my limits at the end, but we can do them at this point if we like. So, I'm going to finish my integral and then put in my limits. This will be another integration by parts, and it's going to be a very similar setup. So once again, this time my u will just be t, and my dv will just be, again, e to the t dt. That leaves a du of just dt, because the derivative of t is 1, and v once again will be e to the t, because the antiderivative of e to the t is e to the t. So, we have e to the t times t squared plus 1, and we will be using these limits, negative 1 to 2, minus 2. Now I'm going to use a set of parentheses here for this antiderivative. So we have uv, which is t e to the t, minus the integral of v du, which is the integral of e to the t dt. And this integral is again from negative 1 to 2. And finally, that's an easy antiderivative, it's just e to the t. So I have e to the t times t squared plus 1, and I'm going to do that part from negative 1 to 2. And you can do them separately, or you can do them all together. Um, I can distribute this negative 2, so here it's going to be a negative 2t e to the t. Now this would have been a negative antiderivative of e to the t is e to the t, but distributing that negative 2 turns this into a positive 2, once again from negative 1 to 2. And again, if you want to do each part separate, since that's how I have it set up, we'll do this guy from negative 1 to 2. However you think you'd like to do that, if you do it all at once or in separate pieces, you're going to get the same final answer. For me, this is a little easier way to keep track of everything. So plugging in, let's do this first one, and let's use maybe a different color for each one, just so you can kind of see how they work out. So I have e to the 2, and then 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5, so times 5 minus, now I plug in the negative 1, e to the minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2, so that's that first piece. Now we go to the second one. I'm going to keep the minus 2 out of it till the end. I plug the 2 in. I get 2e to the 2, or 2e squared. And I plug the minus, now I'm going to have minus, and then I'm going to plug the negative in. I'm going to have a negative 1e to the minus 1. So that's that part. And finally, we've got this third part. Again, I'm going to leave the 2 out till the end. So plus 2 
e squared minus e to the negative 1. I don't need a plus c because this is a definite integral. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do our distribution, get rid of the parentheses, combine like terms. So here I've got a 5. Let's, uh, I'm just going to use this, just a single color for this last part. We've already got them separated. I got 5e squared minus 2e to the minus 1 from this part. Here, when I distribute this, I'm going to get a minus 4e squared. Now notice, I already had a minus minus, so that does become positive. It's going to go back to negative by distributing this negative 2 e to the minus 1. And on this last guy, I've got a plus 2e squared minus 2e to the negative 1. And so everything in here is a like term. So I'm going to be able to combine them very easily. So if we look at the e squareds, I've got a positive 5, a negative 4, that's 1, plus another 2. So I've got 3 e squareds. So that gets rid of those three. Now I've also got an e to the minus 1. And so I've got a minus 2, minus another 2 is negative 4, minus another 2 is negative 6. And there is our final exact answer. If we want a decimal, we can put it into a calculator and get that.